We are a Christian school. We're a very seriously committed Christian school. And because we are so seriously committed, we need to invite our Muslim brothers and sisters, our Jewish brothers and sisters, please come and share the goodness that God has given us undeservedly. Come and share that with us. These students of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. They're coming to our school not because we only have good teachers, not because we teach math, biology, chemistry, computer science, psychology, but because we teach moral values. We teach them what it means to be a human being. We teach them what is righteousness. We're trying to plant the seeds of love, peace, reconciliation and acceptance in the heart of the younger generation so that when they grow up these seeds can flourish and bring a better future. I became very convinced I have no choice but to build the high school for the people here and we had no choice but a small piece of land 5,000 square meters on this mountain slope which was called the Mount of the Ogre. People were afraid to come on here. So many snakes, so many wild animals, so many bushes. We were standing on the other hill where the school is now and pointed toward the mountain where the school is. There next year you will go to school. He looked and said, you think so? I said yes. Next year, you'll be climbing that mountain to attend one of the most prestigious Catholic Israeli schools in Israel. And I said to myself, not to him because he's my priest, I said, you're crazy. How can you even dream of building a school where you can hardly find a place to live? So I was decided that I will start building. I was so naive. But sometimes naive people can achieve miracles because of their naivete. We don't look at the student as a Christian or as a Muslim. We look at them as individuals and we want them to recognize that all people are equal. And it's very important nowadays because of what's happening uh, in many cities and villages where there are you know many quarrels between uh, Christians and Muslims so sharing the same class being you know at the same school with all you know all different religions is uh, is very important by all means respect is to be accepted respect first it's about uh, respecting yourself I'm not uh against the Jews that they live here, they can live here, but, but you know, there must be equivalent, we must, both nations have to be equal to each other and deal with each other as humans. We can be more tolerant to each other and uh, more, more respectful. And uh, that's it. I enjoy this school. Lots of people ask me why I teach here, but I enjoy this school very much. Even I'm, uh, I'm different. 
In the time I learned the Arabic, and now I can speak with them. Sometimes they correct me. So I tell them, I will teach you graphic design, and you teach me Arabic. Jew and Arabic don't know each other like I know them, because I work with them every day. And I know them very well, and I know that it's possible to work together. But uh, people that don't know them very well, sometimes can ask me, oh, you don't afraid to go uh, and to work in an Arab village? And I tell them, no, they don't do any Arab. My name is Radir Abu Saleh. I am in senior year. It's not only the good teachers, dedicated, very loving teachers there. I believe that it's also the environment uh, in the school. Uh, I believe that there is this uh, special environment of uh, loving and peacemaking. The year 2000, we had 82 Jewish kids coming to join us. We have 32 Jewish teachers, many more Muslims, and many, many more Christians. It's a love story, this school. There has to be justice be between all the people, because unjusted causes to a lot of problems. Without justice, we can't live. In our school, a lot of volunteers come, and I see that they want to know the truth, the truth that the media doesn't show. We're not terrorists. We, we don't even think about this stuff. We, we're humans, we're people. We, we are living our life in each day and each moment. We have friends, we have jobs, we have homeworks, just like other people, and all we want is peace. If we all combine together, uh, it will become peace. If you have inside peace, you feel like you are in heaven. Peace is when we get to the point that we accept the other, despite where he comes from, despite the color of his skin, and just accept him as he is. Peace is the radiation, is the outcome of a certain quality of relation between human beings from different backgrounds, religions, races, and so on. I wish that we had the courage to speak much more about the need for justice and for integrity in order to reach some kind of peace and security. No politics in the school. It is a school which educates for being uh, interfering in politics and on the social life, but not belongs to any uh, party. The second is non-religious school. I mean, and the meaning is it, it belongs to the church, but it doesn't make any difference between Muslims, Christians, Jews, Druze. All are welcome in the school. I chose to go there for several reasons. Because it was a private school, a school with a good reputation that it can give me good education and um, can help me um, build my future. So that I, what, what I heard from friends and neighbors who went there. And I saw them um, becoming engineers and doctors. I had to go to have surgery in my arthritis here. I went to the, co to the arena operation. When I woke up, there were 11 doctors around. Nine of them were graduates from this school. What do I want more? Forgiveness is the key of a happy life. Love is the key word for everything. I feel we have to come to a point where we can uh, really uh, talk to each other and communicate and uh, not with violence. We need to reconcile with the other because without the other we cannot be whole in God. And that there is no difference between Muslims, Christians, Jews or Druze because we were all born babies on the image and likelihood of God. And there is no difference. We should be united. Well, wish you were standing where I'm standing now to see how beautiful you are. You're like this masterpiece of mosaic. which makes it beautiful is that each one of you is different. And what we try to teach you mostly on a daily basis is that we have to accept 
the other, and the other being different makes this mosaic beautiful. We all know that violence is on the increase, and we all know that violence brings more violence. This mostly teaches us one thing, that this vicious circle of hatred, of enmity, of injustice will never stop unless we open our hearts and our eyes and accept the other and love the other. May God bless you all. Thanks a lot.